Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0 the mod suite for the realism overhaul setup of mods for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, in today's episode we're going to start qualifying for orbital flight which means we can take this contract, the first crew orbital, it's going to give us a thousand days. We can also take past the Carmen line crewed because we're planning on hitting that one too. Oh crap, did I just max out our contracts? Active contracts, four out of seven. Okay, good. Whew. We're going to take successful re-entry. They're going to give us a year to do that one. So we plan on doing all of that in one flight. What we're also going to take is this break the sound barrier crude. Reach supersonic speed above 350 meters per second for one minute. Uh, yes, we will accept that contract. And I'm thinking about X-Planes Low. That one's a little more specific. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, because it's an altitude requirement between 3725 and 4725. And I don't know if I can stay within those parameters. It's not too big of a hit if we fail it, so we'll just go ahead and accept that also. Alright. And for this mission, I have built the PL 1X. It is a plane. And I forgot to paint it, so we're going to go ahead and edit this, and it'll give me a little chance to talk about it a little bit. And um, talk about what we hope to accomplish with this flight in getting somebody, anybody, qualified. So, here is our little buddy. It's powered by two of the XLR-11s. Those are the engines from the Bell X-1. <coughs> And those are really only for the supersonic stage, the rocket propelled stage. To get it in the air and up the speed, we have two of these ridiculously terrible Derwent 5s. They are the very basic jet engine that you just kind of start out with. Um, they are nothing very special. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to try to keep this looking somewhat stock alike Oop, I passed right by it so we're gonna go with plain white for all of those I think those are the only two things really that I needed to paint uh, we do have parachutes on board and a splashdown experiment just in case Oop, that little guy there plain white all right save edits and we're gonna go ahead and time warp until it is complete it will finish before our test rocket is done which is nice uh, the Zenith Blue 1 we've got 62 days left on that these Zenith Blue 2's are the ones that I have outfitted for actual crude flight and they do not contain a um, <laughs> a, a, a computer core for flight control so they will be crude only and hopefully they'll pass the mustard. I started building them even though the uh, official Zenith Blue has not been fully tested, but that is why we have a fully testable one. Alright, and it's daytime, so we're going to go ahead and go. Um, oops. Uh, Jeb, we're going to go with Val. I don't know why. I have an affinity for Val. And we'll just let this load and hope that everything goes well in the loading. Uh, I'm pretty sure the flight's going to be a, a terrible mess, but, you know, that's just me. Alright, and what else are we going to do? We're going to get rid of our alternate resource panel for right now. We probably don't even really need this, but I do need to move it a bit so that I can see our little crude picture. Alright, uh, throttle set to full, stability control on, and fire up those jet engines. And we have sunk about halfway into the runway, which is interesting. We'll go ahead and just lay back on the stick in hopes of getting off the ground before something realizes that we are actually swimming through this concrete at the moment. That can't be good. 
Okay, this thing totally lifted off way slower than this in testing. Uh-oh. We're going to hit the light. Oh, we're going to hydroplane. Is it hydroplaning when there's no water involved? All right. And we're airborne. It only took the entirety of the length of the runway. All right. So we're, we're flying. That's cool. I'm going to get this up to altitude and out to range, and I'll pick you guys back up when we're ready to begin our test in earnest. Alright, and here we are at altitude, and we just inadvertently completed our uh, X-Planes low contract, but also ran the Derwent 5s completely out of fuel. So we are now turning around. Uh, we're gliding. Quite nicely, I have to add. This thing is uh, a lot better than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, we're going to turn around to face back towards the uh, Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, adjust our angle just a little bit. And we are going to get ready for our staging and our supersonic flight test. In three, two, one. Ditch our wing section and our engines, light up those XLR 11s, and go. Val seems pretty happy, despite the wavering oscillations that we have. We've now passed Mach 1. Oh, this is really unstable. <laughs> Lots of jittering going on here, and we are in descent. Only about half of our fuel gone now. We're going to switch it over into easy controls and try to get some of this altitude back. We seem to have blocked out at about 550. Well, now we're accelerating again as we get higher. And we have dumped all of our fuel. Alright, well, vessel complete. I guess to fulfill both the... the break the sound barrier contract and the... Uh, Uh, X-Plane's low contract, we have to recover the vessel. So here's hoping. Here's also hoping that we maintain some sort of stability. Uh, I had not ever intended to actually runway land this thing. It only has but the one wheel, and we all know how fickle landing an aircraft in realism overhaul can be. It's based on our takeoff, where we were actually inside the runway. Yeah, okay, good. That fuel tank did get used. We should take a crew report. Radio that home. I should have been taking crew reports a lot more than this, actually. Bleed off a little speed. We'll trade in for it a little later. I had intended to do a splashdown, which is why I have this water experiment here, adding weight for no good reason. But I... I think it's worth the effort to try to actually make it all the way home. Despite how absolutely pretty that water is. Alright. And... Let's see if we can't actually hold our prograde vector and build up a little speed here. Val pulling 10 G's in the glider loop. And yeah, I guess we're way out of range for our debris. Yep. Earth Shores. Crew port. Ah. Uh, huh. We already have that one. Oh man, if I had put actual landing gear on this, I could absolutely runway land this. We've got lots of speed, good altitude. Uh, All right. 
right. <laughs> oh, don't get cocky, kid. You're gonna stall. Let's throw those shoots. And they take hold. Flying over Kerbin's grasslands. Radio that one in. Ooh. Gently, gently, gently. Yeah. Good job, Val. Nice parking inside the runway. All in all, a successful flight. Uh, contract complete, X planes low. Yay! That is less than what we paid for the aircraft. <laughs> but that makes her flight qualified to do our first orbital, which we will be doing a test flight for in our next episode. So until then, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you later.